Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to show you how I style my curly crazy hair. So I just washed my hair and um, I have a t-shirt on it just soaking up some of the extra moisture so that it isn't dripping everywhere. For the majority of the time I am at work, I'm a waitress so my hair has to be up so usually I will either wear it in this style, this protective style that I'm going to show you, and then if I have something to do during the week at some point or on the weekend, then I will take it out, and that is how I will wear my hair out. So I'm going to show you the process and then what it looks like after, and it's going to be great, hopefully. I will do this about at least 24 hours before I have an event. I Today is... Um, Thursday I have a wedding on Saturday so I'm doing it Thursday night in preparation for Saturday and this will all go by quicker much quicker for you but so anyways the first thing I did was wash my hair and right now I'm using the Shea Moisture um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Shampoo with peppermint and apple cider vinegar this is almost gone so uh, this is my second one I've gone through of this product I really do like it. I love the ingredients in it and um, I feel like it does a great job of um, washing my hair and not completely stripping it. So like I said that's supposed to promote growth and then the conditioner that I'm currently using right now is also by Shea Moisture and it's their um, intensive hydration conditioner. Uh, products I'm going to be using in my hair are um, Shea Moisture, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint and Keratin. Um, it says it's supposed to nourish, repair and grow for natural, chemically processed, color treated or heat styled hair. And in the beginning of my curly hair journey, my hair was so like such bad heat damage like I had no curl definition whatsoever and I've also bleached my hair a number of times as you can see this is the bleach kind of grown out now um, but I was constantly bleaching it so I'm really trying to do catch up here and take care of my curls and hopefully get them to a place where I can just do a wash and go and I feel comfortable in the way that my curls look also today I'm trying for the first time ever I'm trying something because my roots really get super puffy towards the top and if you have any recommendations please leave them down below because I would love to know. But I'm going to try, um, this is actually my husband's like gel, hair gel, and I was thinking of putting just the, the tiniest little bit at the root before I do each twist to kind of keep that hair that's at the root um, tame and not so frizzy. So we're going to try this out and we'll see if it is a fail or not together. Um, aside from that, what you will need is a brush, and then I'm just using a comb as well. So anyways, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to part a section of your hair, and I like to go straight across at the bottom of my neck first, and then I will usually go down the center of my head afterwards, but I will start like this, and I'm going to put the rest up on the top of my head, and... Let me show you. Here is what I am left with in the back here. I'm left with this kind of section of hair. And with this section, I'm going to apply some of my leave-in conditioner and I'm just going to brush it out. Now I'm just going to part just a smaller section from this section, so let's see here. I'm going to take about this much hair and I will comb it out here. And then I'm just going to two strand twist it. And um, I try and do it tightly. I know it's going to loosen once I release it. but. Um, it works for me and as I'm twisting it I'm just every so often combing it out so that it doesn't get tangled. And then once I get towards the end or one piece becomes a little too small I will just finger twirl my hair at the ends and it will make just like 
the cutest little curl like that and it will not come out. It'll stay like that for as long as I want to keep it in. I think the longest I've kept this hairstyle in was like a week. Okay, so now that I have finished the bottom row, it is all twisted. I just did it into three. Um, I'm going to part my hair the way that I would like it parted, just in the front part. So I like to have like and a little bit of extra over here. I've always had bangs and now that I'm doing this curly hair thing I don't have bangs anymore so I have this huge forehead that I need some help covering so I'm just gonna do kind of like a side part here and then as long as that's kind of where I want it to be I will just use my fingers and kind of separate my hair down the center for the rest and put it into two sections So now with this section, I'm just going to start um, sectioning, it, sectioning off pieces of hair, putting the cream in it, brushing it out, brushing it out, and then twisting it. And since I'm taking it like this, this is the way that all of this hair is going to lay. And then I'll do the same thing to that side. So I've finished a good portion of this side of my hair, and I, now I'm working on this hair right here that's going to be in the front by my face. And I haven't put any gel in yet, but this is where I'm going to test out this gel method. And um, this stuff is called like Gorilla Snot and it's really sticky and weird. But I'm just going to take the littlest bit and put it kind of at the root because I really don't want this to frizz up as much as it usually does. So I'm hoping this will help it just a little bit. Alright guys, so here I am. This is all I have left to do. I'll probably do like two twists with this amount right here because I kind of like smaller ones in the front. So although I could do just one, I'll do two. So I'm just brushing it out and I've already applied leave-in conditioner to it and I'm just going to comb it out quickly. And I have to say, for having bangs, this is getting pretty long. Of course, there's going to be so much shrinkage, it's not going to look this long at all. But here it is right now. And these ones I kind of twist with them coming towards my face. Because like I said, I like to have bangs or like a little bit of extra hair coming towards the front. Now, here I'm on my last one. I'm taking some gel. Okay, here we are. Here is my head full of these little twists. So now what I'll do is I'll let it dry and I'm actually gonna wear, I just have like this silk kind of bonnet thing. This is what I'll wear to bed for the next two nights. And um, I will give it two days to fully dry. Okay, so here we are two days later and I'm just gonna start by taking this out. I'm going to start in the back and just unravel the twists and then um, I'm going to separate some pieces if I feel like they're too big. And I really just kind of like wing it when I take it out. And here you can really see like this piece of hair really didn't take to a curl much and I know it's because it really just needs to be chopped it's kind of like dead ends there but it's so hard for me to let go I definitely like the way my roots look a lot more now than how they usually look without using the gel so I would definitely use that again I think unfortunately just because these pieces are so blah I'm gonna end up pinning them um, but now the next thing I do is like I kind of just like zhuzh my hair up a little and I'll start to like grab big pieces and just kind of separate them, give a lot more body 
and this really I think makes my hair look a bit more natural instead of like it just came out of curlers or something like that. And I think I'm going to leave the front um, parts alone and I'll kind of let them do what they want to do. Just because I have gel in that part of my hair so I don't really want to mess with it and make it flaky. If I can avoid that then I will. You can really see I'm working with like a ton of shrinkage. But I'm okay with it. Alright you guys, this is the finished look. This is how I style my curly hair. And um, thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!